Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Bomatron, back at another video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at two more of the D&D characters. Last time we took a look at numbers one and number three on the sheet. The uh, halfling, uh, barbarian, dwarf thing, and the tiefling sorcerer. This time we are taking a look at the druid um, person here, along with this guy, which I'll have to google his name for the next bit of the video but yeah if you like this hit like button share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys know when to go live and when i upload all that good stuff and yeah let's set these two off to the sides take a look at the box briefly which you can see here if we zoom out a bit you can see it says minifigures or lego minifigures dungeons and dragons 12 to collect you see most of them on the front there then here's the side of the box here's the bottom of the box back of the box top of the box blah blah blah, blah. On the bottom of the box, you can see this scan it, this barcode thing here. If you scan it, whenever you're trying to look for them, you can, with the right app at least, you can actually sort of pick which ones you want. That's how I've been able to get all eight of mine so far. So that's pretty good. Then you can see we have the character sheet here, which the only four I'm now missing is Birdman, this guy, her, and him. So these four... No, well, these two will be the next video, and then these two will be the next video after that. Because my way of buying these guys were buying four at a time, just then I'd have, you know, two videos and just a third of the collection at a time. So when I can afford it, I will go and get the others. So, yeah. Let's bring in the druid, and let's actually take a look at him. Let's go. So, here we have the halfling druid in all of his glory, which... Alright, this character is one of my, sort of, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this minifigure, minifigures, um, obviously there's always going to be one or two that you're not the biggest favourite of, but like he's still a cool minifigure, which this is one of my cases, um, which if we take a look at the accessories here for a moment, set him off to the side, and you see, first off we have this teeny teeny little bird, which is actually really cute. It's got like the little bit of printing on the beak and on the head and on the eyes, which it just is a stud on the bottom for you to set on something or as before, had it sitting in his hand. And then for the staff, we have this little flower on top with the two um, leaf pieces, the brown stud, and then the longer like Sensei Wu style handle hilt thing here, which obviously just clips into his hand like so when you just turn the leaves to whichever direction suits. Um, with most of the others, or some of the others, you get a second head, which is a female head, which you can see there, which we'll take a proper look at here in a second. Um, setting these bits off to the side. Then I can bring take a look at the druid himself in all of his glory, which, honestly, very, very cool looking. I do love it. Um, my only gripe is the legs, which... It's a it's a pet peeve. I don't know. Um, I understand why these are still used, obviously, for shorter characters, but I prefer the middle legs that um, the barbarian woman had. Uh, well, bar barbarian character had before, but it is what it is. So, you can see, we have this nice new hood piece, which overall looks very, very nice, I have to admit. Um, well, I get to admit, I suppose. It's done in like a dark olive green colour along with the like antlers, so to speak. As like a bit of a crown, which looks really, really nice. Like very just it's a very cool 3D mold. Then you see the face it is kind of like a wolverine style with like the near mutton chop or the slight bit of mutton chops. Got the torso with the like teeth around his neck for a necklace, with a little pouch, another little pouch. No arm printing, um, the legs are dual moulded, but obviously no printing on the legs, I don't think these types of legs do get printing. Um, the cape is done in a darker green with like a brownish red on the inside, which is pretty cool. You can see the other, the secondary face here, which we can turn around to the capes, and you can kind of see, for the most part, how that looks with the, you know, with the hood and all on. And you can see the back torso is just like the the strap for the bigger uh the bigger pouch and you can see he's just got a bit of a smiling expression with like the bushy eyebrows and whatnot there but yeah pretty cool overall if we 
turn the cape back around here and then pop his head off. You can see if we bring in the other head for this character, the Nolan head, and set his, oops, set his in some form off to the side so that I'm not losing it, and pop the hood back on. You see how she looks, which I actually really like the look of this. Like the the way that her sort of face looks with this is just pretty good. But like this face, which is a slight wink, or like a single or a wink with like a bit of a smirk. And if we turn the head around, kind of the more annoyed, potentially like fighting face or whatever, which we can give her the staff again here. And then she can like like you shall not pass into my domain or something, I don't know. But overall, very, very cool. Um, yeah. That is it for the um the druid. Set him off to the side. Here we have St Strad, I think is the name. Strad von Zorovich or Zorovich, I wanna say. Very awkward name for my brain to comprehend. But he's a very cool minifigure regardless. When she comes with this cup, which is done in like the clear to kind of make it look glass. And he's got one of these swords, which I actually picked up one of these swords for a while ago for my uh, Captain Carter uh, minifigure, which I might review some of the Marvel ones at some point. But you can see the face nicely done there. Comes also with like a little mouse rat sort of thing done in black with the red eyes, which I think is really cool. You can kind of see a better look at that just by itself. Which will set the base off to the side. Take the accessories off, just out of the way also. So we can take a look at the minifigure himself, which he is one of the named characters, of course, like Tasha. So he only comes with one headpiece. But you see the arms are nicely done with like this fur detail here with the bracers on each side. Which on this side, it actually kind of looks like he's got a bit of armor going, which is not half bad looking. And you see on the torso, oops, popped his hair off there. You see on the torso, how it's a bit more armored on that side and a bit, you know, furrier on that side. Got like the nice red and blue and silver for the outfit. The legs are dual molded in lighter and darker brown with thick like, the red and silver printing. Got the gray, grayish blue hands, grayish blue face. Got the red eyes, obviously because he's a vampire. Got this nice blue cape underneath the hair, which if we turn the head around, we will be able to see he's a vampire with a blood, blood, blood face. I always think of that whenever I see a vampire these days from Hotel Transylvania, mainly. But you can see, he's like, give me your blood, or whatever, so it's pretty cool. And then if we take the hairpiece off again, you can see just the back of the torso isn't anything terribly special. Just like the back of his robe, or his tunic, or whatever, with the bit of the fur kind of continuing around. But, yeah, definitely a very interesting uh, minifigure, which, depending on what version... You know, old vampire. I mean, it's a good thing he doesn't have like any garlic around him or sunlight or anything. But still, overall, he's very cool. So, yeah. We'll give him his cup back here as well. There's glass if he wants to cooperate. It's down the base, like so. And pop it back in his hand, like so. So, yeah, that is going to be it for this video specifically. Bring the druid back in. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like it, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, next time I think we'll be taking a look at the pink-headed guy. Along with like the bird with like the, car the arrow, bow and arrow. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon with something else. Goodbye.